Welcome to another real-time trade. In this video, I'll discuss several ways to manage the trade to empower you to design a trade management model that suits your unique mental wiring. This is the stuff of the real game. Now let's join the trade in progress. Hey guys, Zar here. Hope all is well. It's nearly one o'clock. It's about uh, three minutes to one and p.m. that is and of course that's the end of the main part of the twilight zone that lunch hour where uh, the european and uk markets are completely done and closed for the day and uh, north america goes for lunch we're seeing some range expansion now a little bit coming in some volume finally this has been a very range bound day i've had no trades in the new york session today i did have one in the uh, european session but that's not part of what i do here on the channel uh, the youtube or the telegram group and it was a nice winning trade, but it's a nice way to start the day, especially on a very quiet day or sloppy day here in the New York session. Watching now, this is the range, and as you can see, the barcode here. I was joking with my group all morning about that. This is the NASDAQ here barcode. This is the S&P barcode, and I'm kind of putting uh, brackets around the twilight zone here to make it really even more crowded than it was already for some fun and here's the Dow. Now the Dow's actually breaking out above. This one is a little bit interesting to me. I'll uh, bring you back to the one minute chart. This is the trading grid of course and daily up in the top left. 30 minute chart in the bottom left and then one minute chart on the right hand side for the micro action if you will. There's been nothing for me today by way of setups. Looking for a 30 minute reason to enter of course any trade and uh, or 30 minute reason to trade I should say and really has been nothing so now watching as we approach one o'clock again we are uh, about 50 seconds away from the one o'clock candle to begin here on the 30 minute chart this could get a little bit interesting now um, back to the three sisters you can see we have we are above view up on all three bullish moving average configurations the Dow is the, the most sluggish here coming into the lunch but this could be the laggard that begins to pick up some speed and momentum here we'll see uh, Nasdaq kind of acting the strongest here and the strongest on the day well they're all pretty much flat the S&P is actually the strongest at up 27 basis points for the future session but uh, you would never know it given the sideways grind we've had here all day on all three watching the Dow now as we enter this new candle let me bring this back here you'll see it in three seconds a new candle will form right here you ready and begin there it is new candle I like to see this one pull back and if it drives up I may attempt a long here looking like we're signaling that direction come back here yeah here we go guys no real bottom wick but I think we're gonna get some range expansion sometimes when we're very very dead for the morning we don't need to ask as much from this thing to be able to get some uh, activity going in the afternoon that might here we go guys buy stop order live buy stop order live right there I'm not in haven't been triggered in yet for those who watch my videos and see me trade you know what I'm talking about we need to cross that white line there to be triggered in to this long idea really my playing uh, very much playing I should say the resumption of activity here in the afternoon from the uh, from the twilight zone having some fun with my group here today joking around about how cr crazy barcodey this has been and uh, it really has it's been a, a messy sloppy I, I called it an underwhelming session earlier today about three hours ago in fact and uh, now again it's 101 p.m. I'll be putting you on pause cutting out sideways grinding action uh, non-teaching moments things of that nature to keep this video nice and tight we'll focus on price action any setups that we might get and uh, how the trades or the trade plays out I'll put you on pause for now we'll come back and I'm in guys there it is finally kind of grinding up I do like the look of this setup I don't like the look of this day as, as many of my group know but I'm hoping and expecting that there will be some range expansion here as this volume does in fact begin to come back in. Today is Tuesday. 
It's not a Monday or a Friday where we can't count on a whole lot. As a matter of fact, you can never count on a whole lot. We just uh, deal with what the market brings, but you get the idea. And target one has been hit. It's been t taking a long time, almost an hour, I think. Uh, yeah, f uh, 55 minutes or so. Target one, I actually moved to a two minute chart to cut down on the number of candles here to fit them in on the chart. You can see now we're starting to make a move with range expansion. So the uh, one R all or nothing trader has left the game with full profitability. The two R move stop to break even at one R has moved their stop to break even. They're gonna sit here. Either they'll get a zero, a zero a result, break even, or they'll get a 2R depending on how this thing works out. Now I just want to remind you guys this is a uh, trend continuation with a zone break feel. So it's a zone break trend continuation trade and you can see we've the break of course into this fresh zone. Let me move this over to the 30 minute chart so I can really explain this to you uh, in the way that I think uh, would be helpful. So there's the break and close into a fresh zone. Fairly clean traffic. In other words, no white candles in this piece here that we need to kind of get through to, to prove momentum. This is not a particularly convincing close. It's not bad. It's just about at or above that wick you see there. I normally like to see it close above handily, but I do like the pullback on the, uh, the uh, candle here, this top wick, uh, right before closing, and that was important to me. But the time of day is a huge factor here. Again, this is the 1230 candle. In other words, this next candle is the one o'clock candle. This is the candle with volume. This is the one that usually kind of spikes in one direction or the other because of renewed volume. It's the 1 p.m. candle coming out of the twilight zone. So I was willing to accept this bullish candle that I closed above all of these prior candles in the New York session, every single one of them on a very sluggish day. So it proved something new, something different, something stronger. And then I really wanted to have a, a bottom wick here on this next candle. Well, I actually entered before that even uh, um, formed if you, if you remember we pulled back almost stopped me out not quite a couple a few points away uh, but then this is this is the the wick that i wanted well i eventually got it inside of my trade a little bit hairy but it uh it's, we stayed alive and then prices did play out the way that i would expect them to no guarantees this thing's going any higher than it's gone right now by the way on this very sluggish day before fomc news tomorrow we're in a holding pattern as I explained to my group, which is fairly typical before a very big news day. So what's the context here? Well, this is a bullish day, right? So we have a cascading up candle. Yesterday was very bullish, a higher low than Friday and a higher high than Friday, significantly higher. Big uh, expanse or amplitude candle, if you will. Today we had a pull down and then a break above. And so this is a, bear, a bullish day. So bullish daily context on a grindy day we had uh, formed a new zone down here and then driven up and then this is the sideways grind of the um, twilight zone and then breaking above as I mentioned pulling back and then driving higher and driving is a tough word to use since it's more like a grind higher on this particular uh, in this particular uh, circumstance today um, what else can I tell you anticipating your questions this is a trend continuation zone break trade. And what's the trend continuation? Well, let's go back to the 30 minute and you can see it here, right? V bottom here back on Friday. This is Tuesday today, this is Monday. This big, big V bottom in this rally yesterday, which has been unbroken. So this is an impulse wave up, corrective wave down, impulse wave up in Europe forming a double bottom with a nice penetration to pick up some liquidity here, and then the resumption of that uptrend. Impulse, corrective formation, and then impulse up. Um, being backed up, of course, by the all important daily candle here, which is in fact an up day and a bullish formation. Now we go back on pause and we wait to see what happens from here in terms of the model. I will say this, and sometimes I'll offer this little piece of advice. On a day like this that has been barcoded, there have been zero setups for the Razor's Edge a model on the NASDAQ, S&P, or the Dow here today until now, until that one there, an hour ago. 
And on a day like this where prices have been so very grindy, there may be some room here for discretion. If you are a one and a half hour or a two hour all or nothing trader, maybe on a day like this, you consider taking profits a little bit earlier than usual. Completely up to you. That's where discretion comes in. Discretion can sometimes be a dangerous thing if you start using it too liberally and just following emotional impulses. But there's also reason to consider evidence um, and the idea of tomorrow being a big news day and so on and so forth. Completely up to you. I'll leave that to you. Food for thought. We'll come back as this thing develops. And target two has finally been hit after nearly two hours in this trade. This is, these are two minute candles and after pulling all the way back here to break even. So the two R move stop to break even has been stopped out at zero. But uh, the one R and the one and a half R all or nothing trader has profited fully or have profited fully from this trade. And we'll see if we can get the two R as well on this very sluggish, sloppy day. We are now in power hour. One minute in, we're getting a little bit of volume here. Uh, you can see those candles dancing just a little bit more now, but uh, we need we need quite a push here to get the 2R. Let's see if we can do it. All right, guys, I'm back now. We have uh, 15 seconds left in the session. I'm going to manually close this trade at 1.5 if we can get it, 1.5R. And that's just for the two hour all or nothing trader. And I'm not gonna get that. Let's see, two seconds now. Okay, one hour. So we got the one hour result there for that uh, for that trader. Put you on pause for one second. And there it is. So you see the, the two hour all or nothing trader. We manually close it at the end, right at one hour. Could have got a little bit better than that, but that's fine. And then um, the one R, one and a half R, all or nothing traders from profited fully from the trade. The two R moved to break even at one R, one R there moved to break even. And then uh, we manually close the two R all or nothing. That's what I do at the end of the day if I'm still holding a trade. This one, of course, was agonizing. This is a three minute uh, chart now, guys, instead of a one minute because I had to fit the candles in. And again, entered right coming out of the twilight zone. The only legitimate setup here today, guys, in the afternoon here was coming out of the twilight zone. And even that one uh, was a three hour trade. The morning was a complete and utter mess, as you can see here. No setups on the uh, on the Dow or on the S&P or on the NASDAQ to speak of. And so it's one of those days, one trade today, and uh, it worked out just fine but really just a day of grinding and sitting makes sense fomc tomorrow this is something we often see as traders wait for the news that really matters and kind of twiddle their their thumbs uh, in advance of it thank you for being here have an amazing evening and we will talk to you tomorrow take care now